Hello and hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to connect to any desk using your mobile phone. Alright, if you are an Android user, so this guide is for you. So the first thing that you need to do is to download any desk application from Google Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, so what you need to do next is to bring up the application. Alright. So basically, this is what you should be seeing next. So there are two things that you have to focus on. The first one is your address and the other one is remote address. So we will only be using remote address. Right. So remote address is basically the address to the PC that you would like to connect in the computer lab. So basically, this address should be given to you by your lecturer beforehand. Make sure you obtain you know, the uh, address to the PC you know, be, uh, from your lecturer, you know, before you uh, sit for the test. All right, so I'm gonna show you an example one, okay? All right, so this is a, just an example. Once you have keyed in the remote address, you click next. All right, so what is happening now is basically you have to wait right before your lecturer uh, basically uh, gives you the access right to the pc that you are going to use all right once you have been given access by your lecturer so now you can access the pc so this is the P the desktop you know to the computer in the lab that you are currently accessing via your android phone so what you need to do next is to bring down the um, window, all right? Remember, you are basically navigating the uh, cursor, all right, to the place that you want to click, and then you tap your tablet or your smartphone uh, screen twice, all right? And then now you you have to locate the CBLT folder. So CBLT folder is usually located. Uh, on the desktop so you don't have to go far and wide to search for it all right so bring the cursor to the icon and then tap your screen twice to open all right so now basically looking at this there are so many uh, uh, basically files in one folder only find the application the one with black icon on the left so this is the file that you have you need to open all right Tap on it twice. Tap on it twice to open. Okay, so now you have to key in your instructor's or your lecturer's staff ID. Uh, in any case that the keyboard doesn't come out, all right. So what you need to do next is to locate the any desk application on the right side of the screen all right it is basically uh, a diamond shape so you cannot miss it it's on the right side of your screen all right put your finger on it so a list of options will come up like this okay hold on it and locate the keyboard and mouse icon all right bring your finger to the button uh, basically to the icon and another set of options you know will pop up all right this time you will only look for the keyboard icon and bring your finger towards it and the keyboard will come out so this is how you key in your lecturer's staff id right into the box provided all right i'm just going to give you an example so now once you are done bring your cursor again all right to the button that you want to click and then you tap twice on your screen okay click okay all right so now click all right here you have to put in your student id and also your ic number so i'm going to give uh, i'm just going to give an example
and then you have to search your information make sure your name is correct before you click to submit You choose, click here. ELC 1 to 1 Integrated Language Skills 1. So I'm going to show you, basically I'm going to answer the questions, um, you know, randomly. Uh, just to give you an example. More schools are expected to... In it is estimated that one in five... Police have reminded the public not... According to Washington Post, Kasih Sayang Welfare Association, ICIN, has been distributing fresh vegetables. Alright, just a, a note, um, just a reminder, right? If you look here, there are part B, part, uh, part A, part B, and part C. Right, the audio for part A is located at each uh, number of questions, you know. Whereas for part B and C, the audio is located at the speaker icon on top. So you have to click on the speaker on top for part B and C for you to listen to the audio. Considered as one of the most successful. That is that is for part B, and now part C, you know, for all the audio for question 14 until question 20 the audio is located uh, on the speaker icon just like for part B tap on it hi Najwa oh hi Shafi all right that is how you locate the audio for part A uh, for part A B and C all right so basically once you have completed these questions all right what you need to do next is to bring your cursor to the bottom corner bottom right corner of the screen that says submit all right make sure you have you recheck your questions before you click submit double tap on it and then you press yes right here you have to click count mcq scores you know to generate total results and save the results Right, you need this is important for you to click on it, you know, so that your mark is captured and saved in the system. Click OK. The next thing you need to do is to take a survey before you quit. So answer all the questions provided here. All the way, question one until question 13. Once you are done, click submit one more time. This is to submit the survey responses. Once you are done with this, so what you need to do is you can notify your class lecturer telling him or her that you have completed the test so that he or she can uh, locate your mark in the system or you can do it on your own by just accessing you, the URL that is given that has been given to you by your class lecturer. Okay, once you are done with this test, you need to click quit. Right now you are back at the desktop uh, basically screen. So what you need to do in order for you to basically leave uh, or you want to disconnect right to this PC. Right, the easiest way is for you to swipe up, alright, or you can just you know swipe up on the screen and then you can just you know close it. You know, to double check, go back to any desk and then make sure that you are disconnected by clicking X. Now you are disconnected to the PC. Alright, so that is it. Thank you very much.